Okay, a few people have been asking me how to use Ono. Uh, made by Dan Nation or something. It's a really nice program. It's still pretty buggy though. Uh, I think I'll do a move for this Dan I'm working on. And you can follow along and see if you can figure it out. <laughs> okay, so first thing, I'm going to make a copy of this old of this ultra just because I'm going to be making a new ultra and I always check to make sure the copy ticks because sometimes it doesn't okay and for the moment I'm going to be getting rid of a lot of stuff that I may add back in later Actually, basically everything I'm going to get rid of. Uh, I'll keep this in. Yeah. I think... I think I want to keep that. Okay, so for the beginning we'll go with it's going to have an ultra freeze effect and I think I want this animation but not all of it. I'm just going to use 60 frames of it and we'll use six. We'll, we'll use 50 to 110, how about that? We'll see what that looks like. And then, if it misses, use this animation. And that's going to be starting at frame 60 and going to frame 118. Alright, and the total length of the move is going to be 118. No hitboxes for now. Okay. Let's see what this looks like. We'll add a new motion. So I'm going to copy the Hadouken motion to start out with. And then I'm going to be adding a half circle backwards. Okay, and I think I'm going to increase the buffer window by a little bit. Okay, then I'm going to add a move. We'll start with uh, Ultra Combo. Move to bottom. I'm going to make it all punches and all kicks. And it's going to double the Ultra requirement. State restriction. Okay. That looks good. Hold on a second. What the size if this is altered or not? Actually, that looks pretty good. I don't... I think I'm going to take this off for now. Not sure what that does. Alright, ground. I'm going to add a new cancel so you can use it when you're on the ground. The name didn't take, or did I forget to change the name? Let me re change the name. Yeah, I think I forgot to change it. T A U N T. Alright, save this and see what happens when I. Try and play it back. So you have to go into character select screen every time you want to uh, retry something. Uh, oh, wrong one. Hold on, I, it's, it's not happening. Something's wrong. Oh, I forgot to change the moves in time. I'm not forgetting something. 
Okay, yeah, it's still on Chink Hadouken. I'm gonna change it to Utah. It's a new move I made. Where'd we go? Okay. Let's try this again. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I know what I did wrong. the wrong Zanshin. It's two animations with the same name. Yeah, I got the second one. I should have the first. Yep, yeah, there we go. And I'm going to change this into a throw. Uh, so the way to do that is actually kind of complicated, which is why I chose this move. So for now, we're going to make a duplicate. Uh, let me make sure the duplicate took. Yeah. So this is going to be on hit. So now we need to give it a hitbox. We'll, all throws have the same hitbox because the hitbox doesn't actually do anything for throws and we're just going to be frames hmm, 60 to 61 uh, I think that'll make it so it's not jumpable I'm going to give it a little bit more range actually that's a whole lot more range, let's go to 6 Oops. okay and this animation for now I'm going to have him do his throw which I think is... where is his throw? I mean you go look yeah here it is N-G-A-N-G-T 6 means forward, 4 means backwards uh, so his forward throw and I think it's only going to be about 30 frames ok and for flow I'm going to put a new flow in there so on hit on frames 60 to 62, let's say we'll give it two frames. It's going to run script that starting from frame zero. And I think. Well, I don't know. Let me check. Let's try playing this back. Shouldn't actually do anything if it, hit, if it hits the opponent for now, because I haven't put any script in there for that. <laughs> okay. So that seemed to work pretty good. I need. I forgot to change this. Actually, I'm going to go to 40 here, and we'll make that total duration. And we'll get rid of these sound effects. That seemed to work good. Oh, and I don't want the super flash anymore. Make sure it ends properly, and we'll go ahead and get duplicate. And now we'll get to decide what he, what the opponent does when he's damaged. So for now, we'll just change this animation to uh, throw damage six, basically, first 40 frames, 
and we don't need this. Actually, we don't need that here. Okay. So now to actually make the opponent do this animation, what we needed to do is let's see, it's a uh, unknown eleven right here, and you put it with the hit. So C six zero two is the magic number, and that magic number tells uh, tells what it's it's going to make the opponent do what animation. So the easiest way to find that is let's see we'll go with 37 and 66 just random numbers and putting a random flow at the, at his very first animation oh dag all right <laughs> when I copied that move, it didn't take, so I'm going to make a duplicate. That's what I always check. There we go. It's in there now. D A M A G. Alright. N G D 6. Okay. And. I should be able to add it. Yep, there we go. So the only purpose of this is so I can tell what number I need to add for the throw. So let's go do some hex editing. Let me find my hex editor. And we need it in the BCM, the back, I mean. Okay. So what numbers did I pick? <laughs> That's the easiest way to find it. Okay, okay. Uh, 37 to 66. What are those in hex? 37, 25, 66, 42. 25, 42. Search. Hex string. What did I say? 25, 30, 42. Okay, does that make sense? So that's the one we want. Uh, should have like a bunch of zeros to the number we want. D six zero two. Yeah. So I think D. D six zero two is the magic number we need. Okay, let me save. Uh, where's my save? There we go. Save. And now let's see what happens. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hold on. Forgot to take this flow out. <laughs> it's always going to that hit thing. I'll try it again. There. Yeah, there you go. So it's working properly. Let me add a hit in there just to show you what happens. So it'll land properly. So at the end, it's 39 to 40. Blah. And it's going to use the same as the EX throw.
Oh, it didn't hit. Why not? Is it put in the wrong place? That I know I changed that. Uh, Oops. Let's try that again. Alright, there, I gotta move. It's not quite the move I want yet. But it's gonna happen. We'll get there. I think that's pretty much a good introduction, though. And I showed basically everything the program does. And if you have any questions, just ask them. Where's my. How do I end this? Dang it, I'm never gonna be able to end this recording. Where's the. Where's the magic button? Where'd it go? It's flashing. Is this it?